welcome back to Hopeful Planning. My name is Hope and I am back. I have not posted a video in quite a while. Um, Andy and I went on vacation recently and I was just like burnt out from everything. I'm sure you guys can relate. So I am back um, today. First of all, I wanted to show you our two new additions that we got. When we were on vacation, my sister gave me a couple of plants. I wish I could tell you what kind of plant this is. I don't remember, but it's supposed to grow and be very long and flowy. This is Rose and that is Jack. This is our aloe plant. And it is a Titanic reference. <laughs> and my sister, when I told her the name of them, she said, yeah, unfortunately, Jack will probably be the first one to go. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. It's a good joke. But anyway, so today I'm gonna be lunch prepping for the week for myself. Um, I wanted to show you first my this is where I keep all of my recipes. This is, of course, a Happy Planner recipe cookbook. Um, it's awesome. I absolutely love it. You can kind of make it your own. There's different dividers that tell you the different um, categories, entertaining, main dishes. Um, this is entertaining. Um, buffalo chicken dip, which you guys, if you haven't seen it, I have a YouTube video on that one. Slow cooker, um, I have a lot of, this is fairly new and I haven't done a lot in here yet, but I will be adding some slow cooker ones. Um, healthy fare, quick and easy. Um, this is also a YouTube video, my first one. Go check that one out. Desserts and miscellaneous. So I love this thing. And at the very back, I also have a folder and I kind of keep some recipes in it that I do eventually want to put in here. So, um, if you guys haven't gotten one of these, they, there's so many kind out there, but this one's my favorite. But this is what we're making today. I will post this on Instagram so you can get all of the information on it. It's called, I don't even know how to say that right, but Mexicali Quinoa Pilaf. It is a veg vegetarian dish. That's not why I'm making it. It just looks really good. <laughs> but I've never made it yet. You guys are going to be... Um, with me on this new endeavor. But what I'm trying to do is um, try to eat a little healthier. Uh, we're really good about making lunches for the week and bringing our lunches and not spending that kind of money, but we're not always eating the best or the healthiest. So this is something that, I got this recipe from my sister actually when we were in Texas and she's made it a few times and she actually showed me pictures of step by step how it looked and it looks amazing. So. I'm going to make this today, and you guys are going to sit there with me and watch it come together. Um, I also got these portioned little containers that I'm going to put it in at the Dollar Tree. So I thought that was kind of cool. I got two for a dollar, so they come in a pack of two. Um, I don't even know how much this makes. I'll probably throw like some grapes or a banana with it, but basically that's it. So. First thing we're gonna do is go over the ingredients. Um, you need a fairly large skillet. I'm hoping this one is lot large enough for us. Um, you need two tablespoons of coconut oil, a cup of a diced bell pepper. It can be any color you want, the red, the yellow, or the green. This one happened to be like a marble color. That's why there's some yellow and red, side note. Um, one, it, it needs one cup, but one, um, one pepper seemed to be enough. There was a little bit extra. So this is off to the side. I'm just gonna give this to our bearded dragon later because she'll eat those. And then you need one cup of either zucchini or summer squash. I chose the summer squash. Um, it was about one also. Uh, it was a little bit bigger than this and there was a little bit left over. So just save whatever you don't use and then you can throw it in a stir fry or something later on during the week. Um, also need two cloves of garlic. I don't have just the garlic cloves. I've been using this lately and I really like it, but it does say that half a teaspoon is approximately one clove of garlic. So we'll put um, two, a whole teaspoon, right? I can add. And then you need a can of coconut milk and it says to use the full fat, not the light one. And then one 15 ounce can of black beans rinsed and drained. We're gonna do that here shortly. Um, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper and chili powder, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Um, by the way, guys, this, and I'm in no way sponsored, nothing to do with this company, but 
Epare. I don't know how to say that, but this I got in my FabFitFun box. And it's a dual grinder. You put your pe pepper up at the top and the salt at the bottom. And what I really love about it is you can actually change how coarse or fine, I think that's right, your uh, pepper is. My family doesn't like big old chunks of pepper in their <laughs> food. Nope. I do. I love pepper, but they don't. So I love this. I had to stop using our grinder because it was just too chunky for them. But this one, you can make it really fine, just like the powdered stuff. So I love that stuff. But anyways, we're going to get started. So I'm going to use this as I go. Hopefully I don't mess it up. But first thing was two tablespoons of the coconut oil. So we are going to saute all of our vegetables. Um, I did forget to tell you too, we need three scallions chopped up. I don't have any scallions. I'm not really a big fan. So I'm leaving it out. But you certainly can put that in there if you want. I'm thinking this recipe, there's so many different things that you can do with it to make it your own. So I'm kind of excited to get started on it and, and try it out. I, I just realized that I forgot to tell you about the three cups of cooked quinoa that we're gonna be putting in it too. I have that sitting here ready to go. It's already ready, so I apologize. And don't forget this recipe will be on Instagram later. So you can actually, uh, Learn how to make it yourself and make it your own. So we're going to get this on high heat and saute all of the vegetables. So it says add everything. Add coconut oil, add your veggies, and the garlic, which I think we came to one, one teaspoon was going to be two cloves. I like garlic so much. And this is something that I'm making for myself. Andy will not eat this. Right, honey? <laughs> Why not? Why won't you eat it? It looks gross. <laughs> That's really... <laughs> Make this recipe, guys, because Andy says it looks gross. <laughs> okay, and then the spices we need, too. So let me get those in there. All of this is going to just start... quarter of each of these. A little bit of salt. I'm just waiting for the uh, skillet to start sizzling. There it is. Um, and then a little bit of salt. So can I tell you where I got this? Or Andy, you tell them. Where, where's this pepper from? India. India, one of Andy's um, students at his school. Does he play soccer? No. No, I'm sorry. But he um, brought back a whole bag of peppercorns from India for me. So they smell really good too. What's his name? William George. Hi, William. You probably will never see this, but make sure you tell him. I will let him know. <laughs> All right, so these are going to be sauteing. And it says for about five minutes, you're going to saute this. So I'm going to let that sit just for a minute because then we're going to be adding the coconut milk and the black beans. So I'm going to get my can opener here and get these opened up. I have to rinse the black beans as well and drain them. So perfect thing to do while these are coconut milk does for this. It did say one cup, so I'm going to kind of give this a stir. I've never used coconut milk, I'll be honest, so 18 ounces. Bear with me. Yeah, so you don't need a whole quite full can of that. I don't even know if it's supposed to be lumpy like that. <laughs> well, if I get sick, we'll know. Probably wasn't supposed to be. <laughs> I mean, it's like concentrated things. I don't know. Alright, so here we are. We all know how to uh, rinse our black beans. Just give them a good rinse. All that extra 
watery, starchy stuff. Okay, so it's probably a good time to turn this down. And it's colorful, yay! So if you use like a green squa uh, zucchini, that would be pretty in it too. So maybe you could do like half a cup of each if you like squash and zucchini. I don't know. I'm really not a huge fan of either one, but I'm gonna try this. Okay, so just a little bit more on that. So it does say the next thing is to add coconut milk, black beans to veggies cover and cook about five minutes over the medium heat. So we shall do that. I'm actually thinking these are good to go. They're pretty soft, so <laughs> let's put our, uh, whoa, coconut milk in. And it says the whole can, so. I love black beans, personally, so. And I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking corn. Corn would be a good thing to put in there, too. If you don't like scallions, maybe the scallions would be green. That's what would make it a little more colorful. You got. Okay, so we're going to let this kind of, I'm going to cover it up and we're going to let it simmer for about five minutes on medium heat. So we'll come back right after that and I'll show you how to put it together with the quinoa and we'll separate it out and I'll even taste it for you and we'll see if it's good or not. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we are back and this is, I've actually turned off the heat because once it's done, it then wants you to stir in the quinoa. There's the quinoa all done. It's three cups of cooked quinoa. Um, this is a bunch of quinoa that we had and I mixed it together in this container, but it looks like if you measure out one cup of this, it does make about three cups of the cooked quinoa, which is exactly what we needed. So um, then you're going to put this into it and I was thinking too you could probably use rice if you're not into quinoa I don't even know what quinoa is I like saying it though quinoa and see yeah this is why they say use a big skillet but it says to stir this in and then you're gonna let it sit to cool off completely I guess so I guess you can eat it room temperature. That I'm not 100% sure when I'm reading this, but. It really looks healthy, doesn't it? <laughs> it just looks, but it's colorful and. Yeah, it does look healthy. I can tell you something really funny is the recipe actually says it makes two three cup servings. This, whoa, <laughs> real life. This is way more than two servings for me. And I was laughing with my sister. I'm like, oh my gosh, is this going to be enough? And she was like, well, we eat differently. I eat a lot more than she does. But definitely, I think this is going to fit into those four containers that I have perfectly for the week. I'm not, and it looks very satisfying and filling. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let this cool for a little bit. So I don't want to put it in the containers all hot and then we will uh, separate it out and I will give it a taste. I'm thinking some Parmesan cheese on top might be really good too because you know I gotta put cheese on everything but um, thinking about it though what do you guys do you guys have any tips for trying to eat a little healthier? Um, I am finding that I'm crushing my water goal now um, let me show you real quick. Back up, I don't want to scare them. But I started doing this. I bought a big, huge bottle of this water. It's 1.5 liter. And I calculated it out, Google it, and figured out that the ounces is almost exactly what I need for a full day of water. And it's been working for me. So I'll use this bottle and then I'll fill it up with my fridge water every day and take it to work. And I'm finishing it and I'm I don't know how, but it seems a little easier when you finish one and you think, I'm good to go. <laughs> so just a little tip there. I don't know if that if you guys are having trouble with your water intake, but I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. I'm not going to say no to things if I want a 
candy bar, I'm going to have it or, you know, a donut or something, but I just got to be a little smarter and make sure that I'm eating healthier for lunches too. Um, I will say that I only have four containers here because I'm going to, usually on a Friday, I like to treat myself and go get something to eat, whether it be Chipotle or Chick-fil-A maybe, but <laughs> nothing like McDonald's or anything like that. But let me know in the comments if you have any tips or anything on, on some things, or if you have any great recipes to share, I would love to try them. So we'll come back in a few after this is cooled off and portion them out and we'll do a taste test. Hopefully I like it. All right, guys, we are back. And as you can see, I have portioned out in um, four individual containers what I'll be eating for the week. And it actually looks good. I mean, that is plenty to have for lunch. Um, these containers are actually really cute too. This was still a little bit warm and it's actually got a little button to, for venting. So I thought that was cool while they're cooling off. Um, and they were just a buck. So um, I did forget on this recipe, there are so many ingredients. I was not able to add these two things down here, but they were for garnishing and they're optional. So that's why I put it down here. But it does say to have a half a cup of chopped pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds, I couldn't remember, and a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. So I have done that here and it just says at the very end, you'll wanna kinda garnish it with that. I'm not sure what it does, but maybe it just gives it that little bit of crunch and cilantro is up. Some people like it, some people don't, so it is optional. But let me do a quick taste of it. I'll give you my honest reaction. Hopefully I like it because I don't wanna waste this food. <laughs> I won't lie, I promise. <laughs> It's good. I do need to add some more salt and pepper just because I love pepper, so I'll be adding some more of that. But it's really good, and I do think the crunch of the nuts on top, wow, that's really good. Um, the beans make it for me, though. Um, I might try it with rice also, but it is really good, I will say. Um, while we had a break, I asked my sister, because she's made this before, and she's dealt with coconut milk before. I did ask her if it was supposed to be kind of clumpy like that? She said yes. So if you were wondering, I'm not gonna get sick, I'll be fine. Um, she did recommend shaking it up really well though before you open it up, which I did not do. I'm glad I stirred it up though. But there you have it guys. This is a, I can't even talk, lunch meal prep for the week for what I'll be eating this week. Trying to stay on track with my food and my water intake. Um, Again, let me know if you have a recipe or a tip, how would you change this up to? Give me some ideas. I would love to make it again, but maybe change it up some. So let me know what you think. Be sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you think of this video and subscribe if you're interested in getting notifications about further videos that are coming up. If you're interested in the recipe for this, I will post it on Instagram later today. So just go to my feed and you'll see it's called Mexicali quinoa pilaf. So I hope everyone has a great week. If you set your mind to something, do it. You got it. Have a great week. Bye.